Hello and welcome to Thought for December the 13th. Our readings are Job chapter 15, Habakkuk chapter 2 and 1 Peter chapters 3, 4 and 5. And our thought is, whoever desires to love life and see good days. Surely we all desire to experience good days, to love and enjoy life. Well then, let us specially notice Peter's advice that we read today in his letter. For his next words to those above are, Let him, or her, keep his tongue from evil and his lips from speaking deceit. Let him turn away from evil and do good. Let him seek peace and pursue it. 1 Peter chapter 3, verses 10 and 11. It's not just seeking it is pursuing, remembering, as Peter next writes, for the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous and his ears are open to their prayer. But the face of the Lord is against those who do evil. Verse 12. There's just two classes of people. Nothing in between. The increasing selfish self-centeredness in the world today, we might not class as evil, but it is a way of life that leaves God totally out of the picture. There are those also who only like to have a form of godliness, but Paul advises Timothy to avoid such people. In 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 5, This is not being self-righteous. This is recognising there are only two pathways to choose from. We must see the situation as God does. Those who choose God's pathway, Peter further says, have ceased from sin so as to live the rest of the time no longer for human passions, but for the will of God, instead of living in sensuality and passions. Chapter 4, verses 2 and 3. We had our thoughts further provoked by his next words about those who follow the more worldly way of life and their attitude compared to those who earnestly follow a godly way. They malign you, writes Peter, but will give account to him who is ready to judge the living and the dead. Verses 4 and 5. So Peter's comments indicate God calls to account at the time of judgment those who know the right way to live but do not do so. The scriptures such as Isaiah 26 verse 14 and Psalm 49 verses 17 to 20 etc. tell us that many when they die will stay dead. They will never again see light. However, Peter is making it plain there is a whole class of others who will give account to God because of their failure to follow in the pathway to his kingdom. So let all of us, as we read last week in Hebrews, make straight paths for our feet, verse chapter 12, verse 23, and fully heed the words of Peter when we read in his letter, because we desire to see good days, especially in the awesome wonder of God's kingdom on earth, And how soon now? Well, thank you for joining us for Thought for the Day, where we can open up the pages of God's Word. And truly it is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. Indeed, it does make straight the paths of our feet. 